more and more details keep on coming out about the future of Spider-Man and now the past. This time we're going to talk about a cameo that was happening with Tom Holland showing up as Spider-Man in Venom. Ultimately that didn't end up happening but we happen to know some of the details so let's get into it. And as always before we get into it if you guys enjoy the content like subscribe and hit the notification bell. So if I remember, and you know me saying this is a big if, I will put the video, I think I put it out last August, and a lot of you have went back to it and said, Armin, is this what you were hinting at with this brand new news? So it'll be up here, where I said that Sony was scrambling to put Spider-Man into Venom because of some bad audience reception to the test screenings. Now, as I said in that, I was told this by a source that I trust for Spider-Man, so I'm going to trust them. And now this news came out today that Tom Holland did shoot a cameo as Spider-Man slash Peter Parker for Venom. When it came down to the actual decision on whether they could include it or not, Marvel Studios rejected this. They said no, they wanted no part of it. Now I can believe this because, as I said, because I was told personally by somebody that tells me all my Spider-Man things that this was in fact something that was happening. And I know before you guys discredit anything, remember, a lot of you have found the other videos where I talk about this exact type of dispute happening with Spider-Man and that he was going to be pulled after Far From Home. Again, if I remember, I'll put that up there as well. Again, I trust my Spider-Man sources more than anything, so take it for what you will. But why would Sony do this well if the reception was bad for audience tests for venom which naturally it was because look at the critical reception i could see why they were worried so they were trying to scramble to put spider-man into the film again john schnepp said that he believed and he heard that tom holland was going to replace his role so things are starting to line up with multiple different sources but when it came down to the actual decision marvel studios was like no we don't want that character in there because the moment he appears it's literally going to seem like he is part of the mcu and we don't want venom part of the mcu because you guys don't want to play ball with us and i'm personally inclined to believe that this is when the entire ripple between the two started when everything started to fall apart because if if you look at those old interviews with Amy Pascal and Kevin, he seems very uncomfortable when she's talking about the fact how it's adjacent to the universe. So you start to see everything unfold and you're like, you know what? I can see why things didn't work out. And realistically, what the cameo would have been, we still don't know. I've been given a couple hints. I can't talk about them because I don't want to expose the possible person that tells me these just because of the nature of his job. And that's how scoops work. But let me tell you, it's not as big as a lot of you think it is but it's not as small as you think it is as like a blink and you miss it moment i can't tell you that but i can't tell you where he was going to be included and and i do have another spider-man update that's coming out probably in the next couple days i have to shoot the video and get another source to confirm it but it's going to go a little bit more into details on what was happening with sony in the last two years and why things are falling apart at a super big rate right now with spider-man so uh, stay tuned for that one 